So what we have is uh, this group who is attempting some sort of apotheosis, becoming divine by bringing about the end of the world, and they work through uh, taking advantage of certain astrological or time cycles to gain this power. Can we say this goes back to the days of Atlantis? Well, uh, again, this be, this uh, steps into the field of speculation. Right, of course. Because uh, if you were to say, for example, what do I believe about all of this? I'm not sure I believe in any of it. Uh, I want it to all be a voluntary and an optional type of philosophy that any of this exists and is relevant in any way. Uh, part of wanting people to wake up to their psychic potential and being a psychic revolutionary myself means that uh, we have to realize that all of these uh, myths are partially fictional or have become fictionalized in the history of them, but that um, they still can teach us a core moral uh, lesson. So, for example, the myth of Atlantis, uh, whether or not that's uh, 100% valid and accurate description of the past history prior to uh, archaeological evidence for some kind of world flood or great deluge, um, it can still teach us a valuable moral lesson for ourselves today about the application of certain forms of technology and the ability for ourselves to destroy ourselves using that technology and uh, why we shouldn't pursue that 